So we have another one from Vic Tech Industries. He's making the uh, the the Calcasus hill. Uh, this guy's metal and uh, lathe and mill skills are really, really good. He makes some really, really nice, really nice hills. I could, I could if I if I met this guy. I could chat to him for absolutely ages. Ages I could talk to this guy for. I never used blue. Yeah guys, please subscribe to us. It'd be awesome if, uh, to get some more people on the channel. Uh, I will be doing some lightsaber giveaways. There'll be prizes going out and maybe even giving away an Xbox One. So... I'll only be, you have to be a subscriber for it. I think it's an Xbox One S. So, uh, yeah, if you want to be in chance to win an Xbox One X, S, then you need to subscribe. He's now putting the diamond uh, grip on with a burr. I believe you pronounce it. Diamond burr. Look how much she's moving at the bottom right side. Look how much she's like rotating and out of sync. Crazy. I never, I, I use a proper rubber grip with diamond pattern for mine. Look how he's all wobbly. The guy's skills are just next level. He, he does such a good job at this sort of thing. Honestly, check out his channel. He, he does some amazing uh, hilt designs. He is definitely worthy of your love. I hated doing these parts. They, oh, they just annoyed me so much. You just have to get them perfect every time. I had to keep on adjusting it, rotating it. Really hated it. But he's doing a very good job. His vents are much wider than mine. Mine were about 2-3 mil. That looks around about 10. 8 or 10 mil wide. Look at that, straight into the uh, section perfectly. I think his mill and lathe are a bit better than mine as well. Lucky sod. So he's using blue dye and then etching on the part that needs to be cut out. I, I designed it on paint and then stuck it on. So. Two different ways of doing it, but yeah, you know. I use a belt sander and sanded them off. Nothing wrong with the way he did it, though. Oh, wow. I always uh, removed that section altogether and then manually placed them where I wanted them to go. I never thought to do it like that. Very clever. Very, very clever. And now he's actually going to break off the metal like it was in the... like it's meant to be. Very nice. This is going to look sick. Why don't I do it? I never thought to do it like that. I mean, bear in mind, I've not been trained or shown how to do any work on a lathe or a mill or anything. I literally just saw, like, got the lathe and started using it, got the mill, started using it. Um, I mean, he's what he's doing now for the pommel is identical to what I did. So they're exactly the same way of doing it. Um, but yeah, now he's going to weather it and stuff. Doing a brilliant job, absolutely brilliant job. Am I envious? Uh, I'm a little envious of the way he's doing it uh, and going about doing the same thing as me. Um, so in that respect, yeah, because it looks fantastic. I'd wish, part of me wishes I'd seen his way of doing it first before uh, 
I did mine, but, eh, you know. He's very good at this sort of thing. Yeah, check out his channel, guys. He, this guy is really good. So what's he doing now? Blacking something. That looks like blue. Nice. That looks so good. Guy's got mad skills. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, a little bit of metal coming out. Oh, he's gluing the metal into place. Right, okay. See, I never put the metal on for safety reasons. If someone got spiked or injured by it, then I'd get done, so I never put them on. And here it is, the finished prop. I hope you enjoyed today's build. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe really if you haven't good. already, and leave a comment of something you would like to see done in future builds. Have a good one. That was really good. Oh wow, well, I've seen uh, I've seen a couple of those videos now. So, guy's got mad skill, really, really good. <laughs>